Uh, this post expands on the ATAC representation through the Part 4 Working Group, looking at aircrew from Transport Canada's licensing department as well as the Department of National Defense as a segue through the Air Cadet Glider Program Manual in this particular learning point to describe the validity documents for Transport Canada's renewals, and that requires an LVC. So, we'll transition through the Commander's view on flight safety and some of the issues that are current, including a lack of experience in the field in aerospace medicine and uh, IMHO uh, too many shrinks. So, with this area conflict from defense ethics, drawing in the defense ethics program and the dominant position of the psychiatrist, which is uh, words that could only have been written by a health professional. And looking at the authority gradient, we need to realize that uh, in aircrew ops, the aircraft captain holds the dominant position at all times as a social convention. So it's interesting to match this with the uh, Fathers for Justice movement, custody and access arrangements, which put the family court justices in the driver's seat with a little knowledge of aerospace medicine. So a look at ICAO's manual, licensing authority and accredited medical conclusion uh, recommendations to have some knowledge, uh, some refresher training, and the competency of the examiner should be periodically evaluated against uh, this fundamentals of aerospace medicine as well as uh, the uh, standing of PLTS 42416 authority to conduct medical exams. So we can pinch as well the RDC science and technology concepts, in particular command and control with visualization technologies, decision making tools and concept development. And that allows us to bring in this uh, what happened to my flight surgeon, uh, drawing eyes on to the somewhat strained relationship that air crews have with their camis and it's only going to be made worse if the physician has no standing in aeronautics. So the CAMI manual goes through how to get a minister's appointment and things like this orientation, disorientation in aerospace medicine, which is a, quite a different game, as well as issuing and monitoring of official credentials for uh, physicians who have taken a position in the industry without the requisite knowledge. And uh, from Health Canada's blueprint for renewal, we're looking at a revamp of the regulatory system for uh, who's allowed to cut a prescription, who's allowed to lift a flight ops restriction, and the two should uh, ideally be in harmony. So drawing eyes onto this NOCCs, as well as uh, who makes to call about the acceptable benefit risk profile if the applicant has to cover the cost of regaining the employability, and the physicians have malpractice uh, uh, litigation on their side of the fence. So basically a dead-end street uh, we need to stop. And we need to close with uh, from the flight surgeon simulators and STARS mandate of partnership, innovation, and leadership. So what we can do is link up the regulatory authorities, in this case Health Canada with their analyst, uh, Transport Canada's analysts, uh, aerospace medicine in the field and the CAMI's offices with this control head. So this will give us the precise nature of the restriction, the time frame, uh, the follow-up, whether it's being monitored on the fly, and the uh, DINs for the doctors as a, they relate to uh, concurrent use in the flight ops environment, and some conditions to return the crew to flight ops. So. We can see uh, this is linked up to the NOC database and uh, Curtis Wood's intervention uh, brings up a list of contraindications and of course uh, he can't lift a flight ops restriction anyway. So we'll just roll out with a fixed wing version of STARS and the applicant has got time in the 200 and done medevac contracts in Thompson, Manitoba with Skyward. So we'll transition out to the big metal with this prop uh, 737 from the EHS Museum and for the Air Cadets Flight Ops Program, FS Repaint uh, put some of the uh, kids uh, in the cockpit as a procedures trainer. And this again gives us our visualization of the Flight Ops environment with this uh, 737 Repaint for the KRAC with ATAC, Health Canada and ICAO standards uh, rolling out the markings as a fictional repaint of something in the uh, WestJet um, scope of operations.